In terms of diseases, true furs really don't have that many. But the one it does have, Phytophthora root rot, can be severe. Phytophthora root rot is a disease that will uh, manifest itself in the roots, so you really won't see any symptoms above ground until the tree is in decline and dying. And there's not too much you can do to save a tree at that point. The Phytophthora organism is found in the soil and moves with water. If you are planting in land that has a hard bottom, 16, 20 inches below uh, the root zone, more than likely water is going to settle in there and the roots are going to remain moist. That's a perfect, or what we would say, a conducive environment for the Phytophthora root rot organism. The spores of Phytophthora move in that water along the roots and kill the feeder roots uh, that really doesn't take a lot of roots uh, to die for the tree to become ultimately symptomatic. Unfortunately, as we said, the symptoms are uh, severe. Uh, basically, you, you start to see the tree yellow, then it turns orange, then it turns red. And frequently, the branches will get a shepherd's crook downward. And uh, that's a classical symptom of Phytophthora. If you pull the tree out, and shave the crown area or the, the root zone area, you'll see what we call a flame effect or a darkening of the tissue as it moves up, as it moves up the stem. We know for a fact that it can be on a plantation, that the Phytophthora can be there, especially if the soil is wet, but more, more likely it does come from nursery material. So it's important to get your material from reputable nurseries. Uh, the true firs, again, are the most susceptible to Phytophthora root rot. It's something that you have to think about. You have to put your true firs on ground that is well drained. That's your biggest aspect to managing this disease. Uh, well drained, non-conducive soils, non-conducive to the pathogen.